Hey guys, we're starting the episode here, uh, buying Pokeballs. Jackson's making us buy Pokeballs. Sorry, we're, uh, That's start the episode playing the game, guys. Shit sucks. Fuck. Are you wanting to buy something? Mmm. Honky? What you gonna get, sweetie? What you gonna get? We got 12, let's get six more. Can you get, oh, while you're inside, can you hey, get me an iced tea? Looking. What you got cooking? It's actually, uh, it's, uh, chicken cordon bleu. Dude, he's such a good actor. <laughs> Every time I fucking think of Chicken Cordon Bleu, I think of him. Yeah, dude, I just think of, like, him in High School Musical. Like, I don't know if he did anything beyond that. Corbin Blue. <laughs> now, we just unlocked a new town, fellas. A gate? A gay village. A gay village. That's what I said. The T is silent. No. It is actually in this region. That's how they pronounce mm -hmm. it. That's the dialect. It's kind of racist, oh, right? It's so pretty. Ooh. So lush. PC. This might be my favorite town. Dude, it's got the little like folk sound of music. Oh yeah, the folk music. Can I say? Can I say I despise bluegrass music with a burning? You, you can say and be wrong. Bluegrass I won't agree good. with you. I love bluegrass. I love bluegrass, dude. It's so good. So I was at Knott's Berry Farm, and I, you know what, Knott's Berry Farm, they have the like old village area. I've never yeah. been. Ooh. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's cool. Damn. They were just playing well, some like. Don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, I hate that music, man. It. I don't. I, honestly, I don't know what it is. It fills me with dread and anxiety. You. Oh, and is it, it like the fast-paced stuff? No, it's not even There's the speed of it. of it. It's the vibe of it fills me with dread and anxiety, and I think it has to do with something from when I was a kid. The you, vibe just, just makes me you. feel of like. Be, I don't know, just like the woods in the it, south. It really upsets me for some reason. I really don't know why. Have like a nice campfire. It just makes me oh. feel really like uncomfortable and uh one silk scarf. Just like full of like impending doom. I don't think there's a single genre where I'm where I can say that I hate all like I'm sure there's one song racist? every genre that I would be able to The like, racist genre? I don't think it's anything. That's not a genre of music. Oh yes it is. No, no. Have you ever that, listened to Ouch Ryan? Well, Ouch is mm. It's not racist. It's uh, just, well, actually, if you decode my lyrics, you absolutely will see just it's some prejudice. of the most racist shit you've ever. Oh no, it's it is prejudice, but it's also very racist. Break down the lyrics on "Come Over." You'll you'll see what I mean. Well, oh, dude, I'll make sure I do that next time I listen to it tonight, right? Sure. There, I got it. Uh, I got it queued up. It's gonna be my alarm clock tonight when I go when I go home. You wake take up at nap. eleven p.m. <laughs> Yeah, so I can start grinding in Sea of Thieves. <laughs> start my start my day job, my <laughs> my morning job. You're starting early, man. Ryan doesn't go to bed late. Why? Well, if it isn't poopy, he goes to bed early. <laughs> it's been too long. Is that young man your friend? Well, poopy, I should introduce my boyfriend to you. Is that Pokemon? What the what fuck? the fuck? Uh, Damn, uh, that's some VC. Granny shit. getting dicked down. Excuse me. Bawu. Oh, he's happy about it too. There's no. Uh, <laughs> there's, I thought she was gonna say just there kidding. There's no. <laughs> I thought she was no gonna be like just kidding. <laughs> She's like, yeah, this is my boyfriend. Are they what turning the people into Pokemon? It's the daycare. It's the daycare, bitch. Should we put the Pokemon in the daycare? Yeah, let's yeah. put a. I love the let's daycare. Put furry fur it. I don't know if they, we can put Shadow Pokemon in the daycare. What? No. I'll check. If not, we'll put Plusle for now. I'll put both in our party. Oh, I love Plusle. Hmm. Man. Oh. So what it looks like. I just want to cook them up over a fire. Because, yeah, Pokemon can't level up, actually, if they're a uh, shadow. <sighs> but we get to learn to purify them, I think, soon. in this area. Very soon. You can tell because they have trees and it's all natural. It's going to be like... All natural. What is it going to be? Using the purity sap from the god tree. Uh, you can purify your Pokemon. The, the gum gum fruit. The gum gum fruit. Dude, I ate that once, and my arms fucking stretched out so much. What? Like the Mr. Gum -Gum Fantastic? Fruit? Yeah. yeah. No, I ate the gum gum fruit. My arms fucking Dude, stretched his arms out grew. so much. I saw it happen. My legs too. Then you fucking started just boating around everywhere. Yeah, well, I got in my boat. That was unrelated your to the boating pond phase. Skipper? The pond skipper phase was unrelated. Don't buy a pond skipper. So it was badly. cool that I could stretch my arms and legs like that. Up, old man. I'm the name. Oh, we can do nicknames. Did you like the hat I was wearing too during that time? Oh, uh, we got a. Oh yeah, yeah, I liked it. It was funny. It had like a big penis on it and it said "bachelorette party." <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's a fine name. Ryan, that was that was a reference to uh, 
One Piece. He eats the gum gum fruit, and then he can stretch his limbs out to infinite length. What do you want to nickname Espion? Chet. Ryan? Ch Chet Hayes. <sighs> We've got Chet from the peanut gallery. Sam Hyde. <laughs> We 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 can we can name we can name Espion Chet if we want. Do you, you want know? to do like his like Chet Hanks with the X as username? Is that his username? Mm -hmm. He actually changed it when he started getting bigger. It was Chet underscore uh, Hanks, and now it's Chet Hanks, like with no underscore. And there's no at. I was hoping we could do at Chet Hanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It gives us a fucking forward slash. Yeah. What the hell? That but no at. And then H A N X. Um, oh, we can nickname our Umbreon too. Hmm. Ryan? Wahlberg. Wahlberg? Ooh. Wahlberg. Wahlberg. Or Wahlberger. Ooh, let's do Wahlberger. I was thinking Wahlberger, actually. <laughs> yeah. That's how you spell it. Stop. Is it not? Just, just, no, it's not W H. Oh. W A L B. Mark Wahlberg. N no, Ryan, that's wrong too. What? W A H L. Oh. What the fuck? E E R G. Damn. <laughs> it's perfect. The perfect size. It's great, man. <laughs> Be known as Wahlburger. Have you ever seen his luckiness? You guys right, it goes that? right off the scale. I have not. You, you know, it's on the second most racist burger joint next to Mr. Beast Burger. <laughs> Dude. You know, he can still have had a Mr. Beast Burger. No, he'd do the company because I'm doing this under the guise of Super Mega. So I'm safe. Mr. Beast, uh, our employees, you know, people's Twitter things like, my views do not reflect reflect the views of my company. Can you please change your Twitter bio just to be like, <laughs> yes. the views expressed are my own and do not reflect my employee. <laughs> I'll do that later today. Um, I had Mr. Beast Burger. It wasn't bad. It Wait was, a second, could it be? Poopy? It was a pretty, uh... It was a smashed burger. Oh, real beauty. Uh, I got it with Carson one night. It's on Postmates, so I got Mr. Beast Burger. You call me Carson? You ate Mr. Beast Burger with him? Yeah, he was hanging out. Yikes. Man. Jackson. Sorry, I didn't mean to give Eddie Burback a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he's, dude, he's full of the zingers right now. Uh, but I had that and I got the loaded fries. I didn't get Carl's grilled cheese because that shit looks stupid and gross. What? Grilled but, cheese is like one of the best things on a menu. Do you know Carson grew up with Carl and yeah. they went to high school together? Me, and I You've saw, told me this many a time. Well, I'm telling you on the show. Well, so I know. Oh, so you're pretending like you've never told me? Oh, oh, yes. Ryan, I, you've never heard oh, this information. Okay. okay. No, I, I, d I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, they, I didn't know that either, Matt. Whoa. They, they used to make YouTube videos together. What? Yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. They're not friends anymore? Well, you see, Carl became famous and ditched all of his non No, no, friends. no. Yes, no. What it is is Carl had feelings for Carson. I shouldn't be putting this out there. Oh, shit. He, he had feelings for Carson, and Carson didn't reciprocate, and it was awkward, so they stopped being friends. Like Carl Weathers? Like that video, like that stream he did with Pokimane, where he took took her to his Minecraft world, and then tried to give Carson? her flowers. Carson stream with Pokimane? Oh, wait, not call me Carson. Uh, no, no, Carson Tucker. No, 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 not Carson. Uh, what's his name? Thanks for doxing my brother. What's his name? Carl? Carl. I know, that was the joke. What was the joke? You said Carl did that stream, and then we were talking about Carson too, so I said, Carson did that stream? Oh, got it. Sorry, I didn't catch it. Okay, I, I didn't lie. catch that either. It just means I'm so good at joke telling, it goes over everyone's head. I think that means the opposite. Mm. No, I think it means... Ryan, at the Scholastic Book Fair, I did buy the Book of Jokes. Volumes 1, 2, and oh, 4. Oh, that's one of my favorite books in the Bible. <laughs> How God punished him. <laughs> the Book of Jokes? <laughs> It's just a bunch of like shitty jokes about ancient times. They hey. were bored. They, they wanted to lighten up the mood. This after, shit's after been pretty the grim. Yeah. After the crucifixion, things were a little heavy. <laughs> How about some jokes? You know, we, when we killed all those homosexuals, that was pretty dark. So let's have some jokes. I want to. I want to see what a Christian joke book is. What Dude, I know we can order one right now. <laughs> when you put two ox and one wagon wheel, like <laughs> stupid shit together. Wish it was just dirty. I'm going to look up a uh, Christian Dirty jokes. Christian jokes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm looking that up right now. Dirty Christian jokes. I spelled jokes. Doherty. Doherty Christian jokes. Christian jokes, 18 plus. Dude, just selling. Can we get some iron? 
Okay. Yeah, it'd be half our money. <laughs> what, 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 what does it do? It raises defense of a Pokemon. It's really good. For good? Yeah. Damn. Okay, so... I'm gonna teach you guys all about competitive Pokemon in one episode <laughs> that just like... 20 minutes of me ranting about like please do because as a kid I was just like water dude, against fire I love competitive fire Pokemon. against grass guys I got some 30 simply hilarious <laughs> 30 simply hilarious religious jokes and puns Should simply it. hilarious it, well do we get a do we get at least one of their oh jokes it's an article and, oh, don't worry okay good how is God just like Times. a regular man how if you're not on your knees he's not interested whoa that's dirty yikes a abstinence makes the church grow fondlers. <laughs> That's pretty funny. What do a Christmas tree and a priest have in common? Uh, something about presents. Mm. They they're both hung around little kids. Their balls are just for decoration. <laughs> both hung around little kids. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was thinking the Catholic Church. <laughs> Hey, why did God create- Ladies, you're gonna like this one. Why did God create man? Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> because a vibrator can't mow the lawn. <laughs> this one's really funny. If God created man in his own image, he's a fucking pervert. Because men are so sexy? <laughs> I know, I'm trying to like- I'm Wait, like, why? Wait, why? I love Dunspark. Why does everyone pray in the that. aftermath of a disaster? Hasn't God just proved he doesn't give a fuck? Sounds like a, like an amazing atheist stand-up. So how does God? <laughs> so, if God sneezes when you meet him, what the hell do you say? Crowd goes crazy. Oh, my mom can relate to this one. My husband and I divorced for religious reasons. He thought he was God. I didn't. Ooh. Dude, that's Ooh. one that's like, now this is the tweet. Hey. Oh, yes, sis. Slay. Okay, this one's good because this one also brings uh, Muslims into the picture. Bacon proves God has a sense of humor. He invents the greatest meat in the world, then bans his chosen people from eating it. Sorry, it brings Jewish people into it, but also Muslim people. Uh, that's Jewish and Muslim people can't eat pork, right? I think so. Muslim people can't eat pork, right? I know Muslim people can't. Can Jewish people can't either. I always forget it's not cool. Right? Can they not for a long time, or is there like a specific like window they can't eat pork? I can, I need to, I don't know. Can Jewish people eat pork? Look, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not Jewish. Why, why is that a thing exactly, the pork? <laughs> what? I know, crazy. Oh, this one's good, guys. Then why'd you ask for the Sabbath up? I like you getting one wheel ads. Ryan, that's because of you, dude. Right there, I'm getting a fucking one wheel why ad on my getting, phone. Why are you getting one wheel Because I'm on the Wi-Fi that, that you look one wheel up on. <laughs> Ryan, please, right now, get your phone out. And Ryan, you've been asking for five years if you should get a one wheel. Just you just gotta know if I'd like, I, I, maybe I'd just rather get a Razor scooter, like no, a Razor you know scooter you and ride one, it around. Please get the one Ryan, wheel. Ryan, get a fucking one wheel. You want it? You wanted it for years. I already years. got a bike. I gotta fucking learn to ride that. And then I gotta learn to put. Yeah, but the one is one like of a hobby for you. <laughs> one wheel is like fun to ride around the neighborhood with Lego. Or around the. Yeah, yeah, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Did he pull me off of that? How do you teach a bunch of kids about God? How? Who he is and what he does? How? Gather them all in the classroom. Then never show up. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, it's like Adam Savage rush. is telling these jokes. Um, Don't tell that one to Steven Crowder. Mm -hmm. No, forget about it. You're not going on any further. He'd go Crowder mode on you. Oh, dude, the song? Oh, dude. This is one Steven Crowder would love. Steven, you can have this one for free. Why did God make man before he made woman? Why? Because he didn't want any advice on how to do it. Woo! Steven, that's all ain't yours, that buddy. Ain't that the truth. Woo! That's, ain't that, that the ain't truth. Ain't that the truth. That was fucked. Jax is actually <laughs> laughing legitimately. What the hell is with that internalized misogyny? I don't think that's internalized misogyny. I'm <laughs> laughing at jokes about women, man. I'm almost done with the list. I think that's what that means. <laughs> I may not be perfect, but Jesus thinks I'm to die for. If God is everywhere always, he's spending a lot of time hanging out in strip joints, filthy bastard. That's like a South Park joke. Okay, this one... Dude, this is like... You would, uh... What? According to the Bible, God killed 2,391,421 people, and yeah. Satan only killed 10. Anyone else think we might be following the wrong guy? Uh-oh. It's like a Facebook. Uh-oh! 
Okay, this one's actually really insensitive. A friend of mine was a junkie until he found God. The day he overdosed, of course. Jesus fucking <laughs> <that's> awful. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, so my friend had a crippling drug addiction uh, because of uh, things that happened in his life and his genetics, and he actually died from that it. That one's but fucked. That one's just not funny. Fuck us. That one's literally just my friend died and had a drug problem and succumbed to his illness. Yep. Isn't that funny and shocking? <laughs> I'm still not over it. That's probably why he made the joke. So fucked. Um. Let's see if God were. Can you find one that's a little more happy to b brighten the mood? Lighten the room? Okay, here we go. This, that, this joke's ignorant. This one's pretty clever, actually. If okay. God were a vehicle, what kind of vehicle would he be? Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Tesla truck. Mm. Thanos truck. Ooh, uh, close. A prowler. None. An ice cream truck. Why? Because he brings joy to those who discover him, but people who follow him too closely are usually pedophiles. Dad? Alright, that one's very... Uh, offensive to Muslims. Chet Hanks is dead. No! Why doesn't God ever answer your emails? Why? Uh, he, he... Because I use... Super Magazine. He's more into knee mail. I'm gonna go take a shit on that one. I don't get that. All right. We'll go take a little poopy and uh, we'll keep carrying. Me and Matt load. will keep carrying the weight of the channel, like always. <laughs> good. Oh, good. I don't know what I'm saying. No, do Why'd you say like Bernie Sanders? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. I thought that was Donald Trump doing a Bernie Sanders version. <laughs> when Donald Trump did that thing where he was making fun of the um, uh, this part's burned in my mind right here. I don't know this why. part. Just like this little hidden path. When Donald Trump was making fun of that, that differently abled man, I wish that it was Bernie Sanders that had done that. I don't know what I'm saying, oh! <laughs> How different would, it, would that have gone? How would history have been changed? Bernie would have been present. Well, all the Bernie bros I'm sure would have gotten a laugh out of it. <laughs> Matthew Watson. Yeah. <laughs> mm, big fan of Chapo Trap House, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Dude, the night we saw them live was so much fun. Ah, uh, dude, I got... Jackson we got and I, fucking trashed that night. Jackson and I know we're friends with with uh with some of the Chapo dudes. Yeah. Well, take that whoever you want to take. I'll, it. I'll say associates. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's a better word. Actually. I feel like if they heard me calling them my friends, they'd be like, "Who is this?" Yeah. You know what? Friends is a bad word. I would say we we know mm -hmm. we we know some of the guys, and we went. I, to, I played Fifty Cent with one of them. The game with, with Felix. Yeah. Yeah. I played Blonde the same with I like Felix. Felix. Felix is cool. Kimono friend zone. Um, Shouts out to them. No, no, cut it out. Wait. I'm just kidding. Shout out to Kim Kimono Friend Zone. It's our good friends. They're funny. They're really. People. They stream. They're really funny. Uh, I feel like Jackson streams. You'll like them a lot. If you don't like my streams, you might like them too. If you like Super Mega, you'll like them a lot. That's not true. Dude, come on, man. Anyway, because we, Super Mega is so much f funnier than Kimono Friend Zone. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Hey. I I'm trying to work on my fake laugh whenever I watch Super Mega videos around you. <laughs> okay, dude. Seriously, I streamed with a uh, Kimono once. It was fun. fun. It was very fun. <gasps> Uh, with Anime Serbia. Anyways, uh, Anyways. We, we saw Chapo live. <gasps> oh my god, boo! We saw Chapo live and Jax and I got pretty drunk and I remember we left early and the night ended, I was throwing up in the bathroom and then we Ubered home. Just kidding, we drove home on my moped. Matt drove us home. I was like, I, he was like, I threw it all up, I'm good. Yeah, I drove us home really fast on uh, my, my Vespa and Swerving through, because in LA it's actually legal to swerve between cars. So if cars are stopped in a traffic jam, you can drive between them. Not a joke. And uh, I was fucking flying through that traffic. It was crazy. Dude, I love like east side of LA. I was just thinking about that. East side is my favorite side. We of LA. hung out on the east side for a while and got some coffee. And I was like, damn, dude, like I miss going out so much. West side of LA is. It's cool. It's it's awesome. West Side's cool. cool. It's it's more but you know uh, it's classic. Cool. It's yeah. more like LA. You get the Venices, you get the Hollywood. Uh, the Hollywoods. Century City, where every doctor's office is located and costs too much money and is on the eighteenth floor of a building. Um every time I have to go to the doctor, it's fucking so far. Dude, every time I have to go to the doctor, it's like, yeah, uh, meet us at 9 a.m. in Century City. And you're like, Jackson, can you drive me? And I'm like, you know what? Yes. Well, that was because if I had anesthesia. No, you could have driven yourself home. <laughs> I'm good, I'm just guys. Imagining you the, that day driving you a fucking up? car. 
I had to sign documents saying I wouldn't let you drink or uh, drive that day. Whoops. Hey, whoops. <laughs> well, Jackson let me drive home, so. On the on the Harley, too. The Harley Davidson. He's like the Harley on the 110. <laughs> uh, I like East Side the most. East Side is more calm, and it's more, uh... I don't know, I feel like, like I do love LA, you know, I hated it for a while, but like... No, I here, love LA. Love like... Okay, Gary Newman. <laughs> <laughs> I, love that. I love that fucking song. That's good. LA, uh, the first three years I lived here, I was kind of like iffy on it, but now, oh, yeah. coming up on six, like, I, I oh, really yeah. love LA. And I can't imagine my, at least right now, I can't imagine living anywhere else. Like, I want to stay here for the foreseeable. Like, there's other places I do want to live. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. I think Austin would be cool. I want to live in Austin. I want to live in I Europe think, still for a while. That's mm, just something I want really badly in my I'd life. I'd love to, I want to live in Australia, honestly. Really bad. I love when I went to Melbourne. Melbourne. So if I say Melbourne, like every other American, the Melbourne. comments are gonna go crazy on me. Melbourne. When I went to, when I went to Melbourne, I loved Australia. Australia was sick. I'd love to go back. And yeah, Hanks is confused. He posts about White Boy Summer. <laughs> he posts about White Boy Summer and his confusion. How was the uh, Ryan's Ryan. back? How was the uh, was nice. the deficit? It was nice. Yeah. Just a quick little. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know. Yeah, man. Hey. Woo! Look at the legs on her. Baby. Those legs Baby. go from here to yaya. Yeah, yeah. final form. Ryan, you know there's wild parrots in LA? Yeah. I saw two of them and I was like, I've never seen them before. Harrison's the whole talked years. about them before. Have you seen them? Uh, I feel like I've I've seen one. They're so cool. And I, I remember being surprised. This was years ago. I was like, what the fuck is a parrot doing? I it's knew so it. Cool. I knew it was a parrot was just because the way the tail is. And they're, they're, like the green color tipped me off too because you don't see green birds that often. I see a lot of green in LA. <laughs> Money? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he does. He steals from me all the time. <laughs> no! After, after his allowance. Hey, it didn't kill him. He's going to be dead <laughs> after this though. Don't ah, worry, he's Jackson. living, my man. Dude, can you do this? What? Can I do this? Can Yo, check this shit. Look what Chet Hanks just did. What is our boy Chet up to? I want to get Chet Hanks on our channel so bad. That's what you call big up. Well, didn't he just get accused of threatening to blow his ex-girlfriend's brains out? What? Yeah, but that was like a sex thing. Like blow the back out, blow the brains was out. Was it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been a fake little funny article, but... I saw it was that April first yesterday. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It must yeah. have been April Fool's. Oh joke. man, they tried to cancel me, but I was like, April Fools. And James Charles releases <laughs> apology on April Fools. Bad timing. It's like, why would you why would you do that? Just it was a well received uh, apology if you look at the like ratio. Just like this was a well received ending to this episode. Wait! <laughs>